Hello, today I am going to talk about whether the finance certifications are still relevant in 2025. You know, I'm making this video because I came across a post on LinkedIn by uh, a tech founder from India who has made a statement that uh, whether CFA is still relevant in 2025. Uh, he is a very well-known tech founder. You know, he was uh, the founder of uh, uh, this e-commerce platform called Snapdeal. Uh, his name is Kunal. So he is, uh, you know, made this statement uh, uh, and, and he comes from a business background, I think. He has done his bachelor degree in business and I think he was trying it hands uh, in the field of finance uh, in, in the US before returning back to India. So I don't know why he has made this comment. Um, it's just that, you know, he has just made this comment that, you know, it's probably not uh, relevant anymore to, to uh, you know, make a career in the field of finance. And I'd like to share my own views on this particular uh, item. You know, I've said this many times on this channel that certifications are a way to, you know, to learn things. And in some places, these uh, things will matter. But in few other places, men, things may not, uh, you know, matter much. Uh, also depends on at what career level you are at. You know, so it's, it's, it's very subjective. So there is no uh, straightforward answer to this question, as in it's not a yes, no type of a question. Right. It, it all depends uh, on, on, you know, what kind of career you're looking for, what kind of what stage uh, of career you are in and, and all of that. You know, if I do certifications in finance, that probably won't help me a, much, a lot simply because I'm now a mid career professional. So I'm not looking for entry level jobs. Right. If I apply for entry level jobs, quite likely that people will give me the job simply because I do have quite a number of years of uh, you know work experience but someone who is you know brand new somebody who is just fresh out of university and looking for a job right uh, you want to have a signal value on your cv right and that's when certifications do help if you're looking for a job in risk management uh, if you have done uh, frm already uh, it really does help right because um, somebody is going to judge you within a half an hour, 45 or maybe maximum one hour of interview, you know. So the more information that you um, share regarding your expertise and interest, that really does help. And if I've done FRM, yeah, it, it does uh, convince someone that, you know, you have uh, genuine interest in this field and you have taken efforts to write the exams and you, you know the basics. Okay, but imagine somebody who's looking for a job at a, a VP level, senior manage, manager level, uh, having an FRM qualification doesn't add a lot of value to your CV. I mean, it does add some value, but probably that is secondary. You know, people will care more about your experience of working for eight years, 10 years and, and so on. Right. It's the same thing about CFA. You know, I have come across many CFA graduates who are working in IT risk management in not investment related uh, profiles and that's quite you know the thing is that i have spoken many times to them that you know why don't you make a career in investment the reason is simple that despite having a cfa degree they simply cannot move to an investment profile simply because they do not have work experience so certifications uh, do not matter at senior level you know at entry level yes good but uh, beyond a point, um, they don't matter much, right? But for entry level uh, jobs, the competition is by far the most, right? Uh, that's when you find it very difficult to enter a field. And that's when you need the certifications uh, more, right? Now, some certifications are more important than the other. For example, uh, in my view, I think uh, certifications uh, such as CFA, um, it's quite decent certification actually because it has quite a bit of industry recognition. Uh, other certifications, well, there are quite a many, right? You have certification in alternate investment, risk management, even in risk management or FRM, PRM, and there are you know countless other certifications. If you're doing certification, do the one that has uh, industry recognition. Otherwise, just learn from short courses or read books, learn from freely available sources, right? 
uh, having said that let me tell you that most finance professionals i have met in my life do not have any finance related certifications you know so uh, and doesn't mean that they haven't done well in their life in their doing very well in their in their career despite not having any certifications right i talk about quant finance you know you don't need any any certification to work in quantity finance that's not a prerequisite some people think it's actually a prerequisite to have certifications on your cv right if you have certifications don't take it for granted that you know you are entitled to get the job no that's not true you know a lot of people have this uh, mentality that just because they are cfa they are good investment manager hence they will be selected that's not true you know i know people um you know who do not have any certifications any qualification in the field of finance they have just a bachelor or master's degree in in science or engineering and they have done really well um as finance professionals okay uh, so you should do certifications for right reasons especially early in your career when you have time when you are uh, will you know you, you are looking for growth opportunities i think it's good to do certifications right uh, and most certifications in finance are not too expensive right frm prm C, uh, cqf uh, oh well cqf is quite expensive but cfa cfa and frm at least are not too expensive compared to you know what you would otherwise pay if you do a master's degree from uh, a, a reputed uh, university which would you know cost you over 10000 uh, us dollar even more lot more in foreign in in us and europe right um as certifications uh, alternative to masters programs university programs again bit subjective if you are doing university programs for uh, you know career in industry and you want to do certification otherwise you know there's a fair bit of comparison you can make uh, you can you can you know in in europe actually university programs are quite valued but i know in many countries people don't care too much about university degrees certifications probably have better value compared to university degree programs right how about uh, no, not so reputed certifications uh, to me i think nobody really cares you know you will you will not get any signal value from that those certifications if you are learning things from those certifications well and good nothing wrong with that right so you should not pre pay premium money for certifications which are not well known in europe you will find many certifications in quant finance in in alm in different areas of risk management or different areas of finance whether it's credit research whether it's you know treasury or asset liability management which are super expensive like you know above 5000 euro for you know just uh, two days of training in some cases even 10000 euros for two three days of training if your company is sponsoring that's that's fine but i don't think you should pay for those certifications because those certifications will not uh, matter much on your cv right okay uh but whether certifications from udemy from all those places uh, are good enough well for learning purpose yes any certification is good if you are genuinely interested to learn something but if you are doing something just to show others the look i have a certificate and that's why you should give me a job then only go for the renowned ones the best ones the like cfa frm nothing below that right and i highly advise not to go for super expensive certifications which which are good only for people who are getting sponsored from or sponsorship from their respective organization they're working for um right i would rather go for shorter certifications which you can finish in few months time and lot less expensive and you go with an intent that you are going to learn something from it rather than just show it on your cv you know that secondary right so answer to this question is that certifications are still good and they will continue to be good is just that your expectations should be different you know uh, i'm telling from my own experience when i was a student in india people would go for uh, certifications in uh, 
well CFA in particular because that was the most popular certification back then I think still is uh, with the intent that okay they will be hired by Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley and BlackRock and, and you know they will have an easy path to that I'll tell you many of my former colleagues who did CFA did not have a chance to work for large investment banks or asset management firm uh, you know in fact many of them have actually switched careers they have moved to other jobs non-finance jobs some of them actually work in e-commerce you know uh, one other certification I would like to talk about is the actual certification you know that's also a good qual certification that many people do not know about that's also quite a good enough qualification if you want to work in in the field of finance accountancy certifications are prerequisite in many places so is uh, you know the actual certification Right. If you want to become a qualified, you want to work as an actuary at an insurance firm, you have to be a qualified actuary. Similarly, if you want to work as a qualified accountant at a consulting firm like Big Four Consulting Firm uh, or at uh, at any firm, then and you have to be a qualified accountant, a qualified chartered accountant, right? So that's a prerequisite for those roles. So I'm not even talking about those certifications. They're obviously different and uh, but I'm talking about you know the likes of CFA and FRM and so on you know those certifications are more optional rather than you know prerequisite all right thanks guys any questions let me know in the comment section